So the first trailer for Venom The Last Dance just dropped and uh, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Let's talk about it. So the first thing I want to point out is that in Spider-Man No Way Home, the post credit scene is Eddie Brock in the MCU 616 universe talking about, you know, the Avengers and all that and him wanting to go back to his universe and look for Spider-Man. And then a piece of the Venom symbiote is left on the bar table and everyone assumed it was just going to end up going to Tom Holland's Peter Parker at some point, but it looks like that might not even happen anymore. Because in the Venom 3 trailer, we can literally see the same bar with the Venom symbiote and then we see Chueto Ejiofor's character, who's like the leader of the jury, which is this uh, group that's like hunting monsters and symbiotes. He pops up in the bar and ends up taking the Venom symbiote. So now the question arises, what universe is this? Is this the Venomverse? Is this the MCU? Is this maybe the post credit scene for Venom 3 teasing the merger of the two universes? Because there was a big report not that long ago that Sony and Marvel Studios was going to be merging their cinematic universes, maybe for like an incursion or something. But we don't know any of that if it's confirmed or anything just yet. So when we see something like this, we're all super confused because what the hell is that? I saw some people online saying that maybe Venom is dropping bits of symbiote goo all over the place, like different universes and stuff, but I don't think that's the case because this is literally the same bar with the same bartender wearing the same shirt. Like, it has to be the 616, otherwise it makes literally no sense unless they're retconning that post credit scene from No Way Home. Which Sony does have a track record of retconning their post credit scene, so for all we know, they could literally just do it right here. So that's the first thing in the trailer I saw and I was like, how the heck does that make sense? If you have an idea, let me know down below in the comments, but let's go ahead and talk about the lizard now. So actor Reese Ifans is seen in the trailer. They're in like this little uh, van or RV or something. He's playing, uh, looks like a banjo or a guitar or something, and he's singing to young 10-year-old Peter Parker. Now, how does this make sense, you might ask? Well, I don't know. Maybe it's the same lizard we saw from before. Maybe uh, when he went back to his own universe at the end of Spider-Man No Way Home, maybe he ended up in a different universe. Some people are saying that maybe the Venom trilogy is a prequel for the Andrew Garfield movies. Like, there, it just makes no sense. Some people were even saying that he's just playing a different character, and I'm like, why the heck would you cast the same guy that played Lizard to just randomly be in another Spider-Man-related movie if he's not gonna be Dr. Connors? Like, my guess is he probably is Dr. Connors. Maybe there's something wrong with Peter or whatever, and then Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock, like, gets him and brings him on this road trip. I don't know. This just sounds dumb. Because I highly doubt he's just going to be some, like, hippie bum that hitches a ride with them and then just, you know, does his own thing. Like, he has to have some importance, I would think. And especially with a movie that's going to have a whole bunch of different symbiotes in it, maybe he ends up becoming the lizard again and then gets venomized. That would be pretty cool. Like, if we got a venomized lizard in this movie, it would actually be really badass. And like I said, I don't think he's playing someone completely different. I think he is going to be Dr. Connors. I just don't see why you would bring Reese Fons back if he wasn't going to be playing the lizard. But yeah, with this, you just get a lot of questions. Like I said, is this an Amazing Spider-Man prequel? Is this uh, him going to the wrong universe after No Way Home? Um, like, what is going on? So guys, let me know what you think about these two things that I noticed in the trailer that to me make absolutely no sense and just are really, really confusing. We see the Venom symbiote again in the bar, but this time it doesn't look like it's the 616 universe. And then at the same time, we get Reese Fons back, maybe as Lizard, maybe not. Let me know your thoughts about this down below.